Hi, everyone. I'm Reverend Nikki Happy, the Director of Marketing and Engagement at One Spirit, and I am sitting here today with Mirabai Star. How are you? I'm great, Nikki, especially in this moment being with you. Oh, thank you. Complete. Thank you. It's so great to be here with you to discuss your upcoming workshop. But before we do that, can you just share a little bit about who you are? <laughs> who am I? I used to care. I don't care as much anymore about that question. Who I love am I? that. <laughs> um, so I am a translator of the, of the Spanish mystics, San Juan de la Cruz, St. John of the Cross, and Santa Teresa de Avila, St. Teresa of Avila, and also the medieval English mystic, Julian of Norwich. These are my translations of the mystics. And I also write and speak about the sacred feminine and the kind of reclaiming women's wisdom across the spiritual tradition. Beautiful. And I know you're the author of several books. So. Yes. I have around a dozen books that have unfolded through me over the years. And I'm not quite sure how it happens, but it continues. And I've just started a new book on ordinary mysticism. Writing is my true happy place. Mm -hmm. I am just happiest with my computer and a candle and a cup of tea and a window, and then just this thing that starts to come through and brings me such peace and alignment. Yes. Would you consider writing to be a spiritual practice for you? Writing has always been a spiritual practice for me from an early age. And I always loved writing. You know, I wrote poetry and I wrote songs and I wrote short stories. But for me, writing was always a, a place of connectedness to my soul, even if I couldn't have named it that. But I was really formed. My consciousness was formed around writing as a spiritual practice, that is, as a way to know ourselves and to access our deeper voice. And writing will be a component of this workshop. Mm -hmm. Great. Can you share what was your inspiration behind this workshop and bringing it to One Spirit? I've taught at One Spirit many times over the years. It's one of my favorite places to teach. In fact, I'm pretty much not teaching very much at all anymore. I'm just doing a few select things. And One Spirit is one of those places that I have a big yes for every single time. Mm -hmm. I realized that One Spirit is, is a place where I get to explore the things that are dearest to my heart and one spirit will say yes and go along with me on that journey and so having translated Teresa of Avila's masterwork the interior castle I have this deep love and affinity for that text and I speak about Teresa all the time as a kind of living ally as a mystic that's available to all of us, although she lived in the 16th century in a cloistered convent in Spain, mm -hmm. she has this powerful, potent transmission that has lasted throughout the centuries and is fully available for us now. But I have always longed to do a deep dive just into the interior castle, to the seven dwellings of the interior mansions of our soul mm. and looking at each of those touchstones those kind of mystical watersheds together with a group of people who are willing to dive deep into Teresa's magnificent transmission yes and what you said that stuck out to me was this concept of living ally yes I think that that it's tempting to look at the mystics across the spiritual traditions and throughout history as these kind of rarefied creatures who had access to something that doesn't belong to us in our age, in our time, in our broken personalities and bodies, you know, as we perceive them sometimes, that we could never hope to attain the states of consciousness and bliss and love and union that they did. But no, my friends, no, as Teresa says <laughs> all the time, no, my friends, no, <laughs> this belongs to all of us. And that's one of the things Teresa makes clear is that 
yes, there is an individual contemplative journey that we all need to make. And she's showing us kind of um, stations along the way. But that ultimately, even though it feels like it's a solitary quest sometimes, mm -hmm. we are doing it together. In fact, can I read a paragraph that Teresa Absolutely. wrote about? So this is the interior castle, my translation. And toward the very end, she writes, once you have been shown how to enjoy this castle, you will find rest in everything, even in the things that challenge you most. You will hold in your heart the hope of returning to the castle, and no one can take that from you. That's so powerful. And so can you take us through what the experience will be like for the participants? Yes. So we will be weaving in contemplative practice throughout the weekend diving deep into Teresa of Avila's beautiful, delicious words. And we will also be dropping into the silence so that we can access the spaces between the words, the places that the words point beyond themselves. I will be doing readings from the interior castle, essential readings. So the first day we will do the first four dwellings, maybe one, two, and three, we'll see how it goes. And then the second day we will do the remainder. So I have selected essential, juicy, beautiful, evocative passages. I will read those. I will reflect on those, offer teachings that are relevant, I hope, to our contemporary lives and situation right now in these urgent, fraught times when the medicine of the mystics is so deeply needed. In the afternoons, we will be doing chanting and writing practice, and then returning to a contemplative Lexio Divina at the end of the day. And so after the workshop is over, what do you hope that participants take away with them? What my desire is, is for each of you to recognize what Teresa herself recognized when she had her vision of the soul as this beautiful, pure crystal, like a diamond. She called it a castle later because the language of royalty was the only language she could find to sufficiently convey the majesty of this vision of this pure, luminous, diamond-like object that is our soul. After having taken this deep journey into union with the beloved in the center of our souls, the only thing that makes sense is to step up in service in this world. Teresa of Avila's interior castle is one of the most nourishing and delicious meals for the journey that we're all on right now that I have ever encountered. And I can't wait to share it with you.